know what time it is? It's time for KP's video news. That's right, folks. KP's video news, y'all. KP's video news, y'all. That's right, folks. KP Video News now. News flash, news flash. All right. Haiti authorities arrest six suspects in uh, president's assassination. And this just happened a, a couple of hours ago. Got a Haitian police on, uh, captured two more men. Officials said are among the suspects in the assassination of President Mose. Uh, with live images shared on social media showing the crowd manhandling the men in Port-au-Prince slum. The two men, one of them shirtless, bloody, his arms bound by rope, was, sh uh, was shown being led through the streets by young men, one of them yelling, move, move. The police intervened and took the, took the men from the crowd. The interim police chief, uh, Leon, Leon Charles, later stated that the two men are among the suspects involved in the Wednesday morning killing of, Dr. of Mr. Mose and the wounding of his wife in their residence. The men captured on Thursday are among six people arrested in connection with Mr. Mose's assassination. So far, authorities said officials rep uh, presented no evidence of the alleged involvement. Mr. Charles didn't elaborate on what involvement the two men might have had in the attack or how the crowd could have known they took part. The group of assailants carrying high caliber weapons stormed the house in an upscale residential neighborhood by 1 a.m. local time on Wednesday, plunging the unstable Caribbean nation into a fresh political chaos and posing a challenge to the Biden administration. Seven suspects have, have also been, uh, been killed following a gun battle Wednesday evening in the affluent district of uh, capital of Port-au-Prince where uh, Ms. Mose resided. Security forces said they also freed three police officers who had been held hostage by the alleged killers of the president. This was a highly coordinated attack by a highly trained and, high, and heavily armed group, Mr. Joseph said, adding that the attacker spoke Spanish and English. Haiti is French and Creole speaking country uh, whose inhabitants are predominantly black. The two suspects arrested Thursday have Latino appearances. Four suspected killers of the president were fatally shot by national police in a gun battle in an influent district where Mr. Mose resided and uh, Haiti Police Chief Leon Charles said Wednesday evening two others had been captured uh, Wednesday. Security forces also freed, and I just uh, stated that, and uh, the arrest come as authorities closed airports and the country's border with the Dominican Republic after declaring a two-day state of siege which put the army in charge of security and justice and limits freedom of information and citizens' rights to gather. Haiti, the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, also the first country in the, in the Western Hemisphere that gained independence from slavery. They were the first ones to revolt against slavery and successfully won their independence uh, uh, from slavery and uh, against France. Anyway, uh, uh, so the unrest deepened in recent months when the president who was narrowly elected in 2016 but couldn't take office for another year because of the unrest, refused to leave office in February when opponents argued that his term had ended. So his term had ended and he refused to leave. Sound familiar? He argued that because this term started late, it should also end late. But political foes accused Mr. Mose of uh, turning into, into an autocrat. A significant obstacle to exercising democratic power in Haiti is the growing force of gangs, which have often been tied to, to presidents. When they slip out of control, they wreak havoc. And one of Haiti's most powerful gang leaders, Jimmy Sergier, known as Barbecue, recorded a video recently in which he called for Mose to quit. His gang members, they uh, their faces hidden, hidden, and they wave machetes in the air. So. Uh, telling you, man, that this, that country is unstable. It's totally unstable. In 1994, the U.S. intervened to reinstate uh, President John Bertrand Aristide, a Catholic priest who was first democratically elected president of Haiti in 1991 before he was overthrown by a military coup 
after uh, regaining power in the 2000 elections. Aristide by, by then was no longer a priest uh, who was ousted by an insurrection in 2004 and, and forced into exile. And uh, so, you know, a, a stable Haiti, uh, according to somebody in Washington, D.C., stated that it's, a, it's in the best interest of the United States for, for Haiti to be stable. And the only reason they feel that way is because not because they want they care about the people is because of a strategic advantage uh, that they don't want communists going in there taking over the countries that would be too close to the United States. That's all it is. Just like the same way they felt about Cuba. They don't care about those people. And let that be known. Okay, Michael Avenatti. Back in the news again. You no. Know, one time, foe to the D.C. Dunce got sentenced to 30 months in prison. It's a little under three years. Uh, not long ago, Michael Avenatti was a fixture, a fixture on, table, on cable news and a nemesis of former President D.C. Dunce as, uh, as a lawyer and adult film actress Stormy Daniels, and he even briefly considered running for president. On Thursday, today, Avenatti dropped another few pegs on his uh, descent into this, uh, disrepute. A federal judge in Manhattan sentenced Avenatti to 30 months in prison for trying to extort millions of dollars from Nike. Michael Avenatti used illegal extortion threats and betrayed one of his cli clients for the purpose of seeking to gain and obtain millions of dollars for himself. Uh, Manhattan U.S. Attorney Audrey Strauss said in a statement, about the sentencing, not only did Avenatti attempt to weaponize his law license and celebrity to seek to extort payments for himself, he also defrauded his own client. Avenatti, who was served, uh, now, now served substantial time in prison for his criminal conduct. And Avenatti cast himself as an anti-Trump avenger. Prosecutors said Avenatti deserved a substantial sentence after he sought to enrich himself after weaponizing his public profile in an attempt to extort a publicly traded company out of tens of millions of dollars. While the defendant may have tried to hide behind legal terms in a suit and a tie, the jury clearly saw the defendant's uh, scheme for what it was, an old-fashioned shakedown. U.S. Attorney for the Southern District Jeffrey Berman said in a statement at the time of his conviction, the sentence exceeded the six months the defense asked for was saying Avenatti had been only openly mocked by Trump had suffered enough. And uh, so the defense wanted him to get six months. They gave, they ended up giving him three years, pretty much, you know, 36 months is three years. So they gave him 30 months, so six months slots, uh, less than, than, uh, than three years. Avenatti was convicted by a federal jury February 2020 after a two-week trial in New York. And, uh, and uh, Avenatti attempted to extort at least $15 million from Nike or else he threatened to use his media influence to damage the brand. And uh, so, you know, I'm telling you, man, Avenatti convicted in an extortion case and he faces separate charges, separate charges for allegedly stealing the book advance from Daniels and in California for defrauding other clients. So he still got other cases coming up. And uh, Stormy Daniels, which is the lady that was involved with uh, Donald Trump, allegedly involved with Donald Trump sexually, and he paid her uh, money to keep her, keep her mouth shut. She uh, cut ties, she cut ties with, uh, with Avenatti a couple years back. Anyway, on to the, this, this story here. And I mean, it's all kind of crazy stuff going on, man, but you got to realize where you are, the hate fueled by white supremacy behind killing of two black people in Massachusetts. And that's what the authorities stated. And uh, the white man who authorities say shot and killed a black Air Force veteran, this happened a little while back, and his, uh, and his wife, which was a retired black state trooper in Winthrop, Massachusetts last month. Uh, this is a hate fuel by white supremacy. 
according to the Suffolk County District Attorney's Office. Authorities say Nathan Allen, 28 years old, stole a large truck and crashed it into another vehicle in a building uh, in uh, Winthrop before shooting and killing veteran Ramona Cooper, 60, and David L. Green, 58. Allen was subsequently shot by police and taken to a hospital where he died from his injuries. On Wednesday, Suffolk County District Attorney uh, Rollins, whose office is leading the investigation, said journals recovered at Allen's apartment depicted him as, as fueled by hate. This, uh, this man had fooled so many, outwardly appearing stable uh, and upstanding while internally filled with extremist ideologies and hatred. Um, this is what he stated. White people are the world's apex predators, Allen wrote in his journal, according to excerpts released by the district attorney's office. Uh, and prosecutors said he, re he re returned often to the theme of white people as apex, apex predators. And, uh, and he claimed that men need to destroy things. Elsewhere in his writings, he used a variety of slurs to refer to black people and called on white people to snap and do things do things to black people in cold blood. Rodden said Wednesday that Allen's family had been extremely cooperative with the investigation and the Allen family, including Nathan's parents, siblings, wife, and her parents, have met with the investigative, investigative team at every request and have cooperated at every turn and they would not have it, uh, meet its access to all the information they do now without this family's uh, full cooperation. Further, there had been no indication or evidence that Allen's family was aware of Nathan's intent or, or, or his ideologies. They have stated that they denounce any form of hatred or racism and request privacy during this difficult time. Brown stated all three of the, uh, these families, the Coopers, the Greens, and the Allens, and survivors of homicide, and his officer would provide uh, resources and assistance in any way they can. At a press conference last month, Rollins described the shootings as an execution. Rollins said Allen walked by several other people that were not black and did not harm them. Cooper was shot three times in the back, while Green was shot four times in the head and three times in the torso. Wow, this guy was really demented and really, really sick, man. There's some sick people out there. So, you, I mean, you got to be careful, man. You, you don't know what lurks in the minds of people. It could very well be one of your next door neighbors, man, could, could have those same ideologies. You never know. You never really know, man, what's in the heart, hearts and minds of people these days. You just don't know. Video news, y'all. Take these video news, y'all. Peace.